about Rayleigh Beach? Join us as we reveal the beauty of Rayleigh and how to get there from Ao Nang on this exciting adventure. And don't forget to keep on drifting. Good morning, guys. We are here, Ao Nang, Krabi in Thailand. Yes. And today we're getting on one of these boats, one of these ones here. We're going all the way around, just around there, to Rayleigh Beach or Rayleigh Bay, Rayleigh Beach. So we're going to head around. Uh, basically, you come over here. There's like a long tail uh, boat service. Costs a hundred baht, and they take you around to what's known as West Rayleigh. That's what we're doing. So we're going to go up, get a ticket. You then kind of wait in queue, like over here, where all these guys are, because. Uh, particularly for Rayleigh, like they wait to there's eight people to then take you around. I'm not sure it's probably about 10 minute, 15 minute journey, I guess, from here around. Uh, yeah, should be fun. So yeah, let's go do it. Let's go do it. Cool. Do that way. That way. And then that way. Nice one, guys. Let's go. <laughs> Good morning, yes, this is really, 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 not a bad trip, probably what, five minutes, ten minutes? Yeah. Yeah. Minutes. Very nice, I kind of keep coming in around here, getting selfies, um, yeah, and you can kind of see down there, like Chicken, Chicken Island, and <laughs> down there is like Ton side, but I think you, well, at the moment you can't get there maybe, I'm not 100% sure, but yeah, there's a nice beach. Looks quite nice. A lot of boats though. I thought there'd be like probably less boats. I guess you swim down that end. Um, cool. So you can get kayaks. Yeah, pretty much the same as what we had over there, but no cars. There's no traffic. Amazing. Perfect. I mean, obviously you're going to get the boat noises. But you know, people have got to get here somehow, don't they? Uh, and then, so this is Rayleigh West. And then, like I said, over there is Rayleigh East, which is more like the pier and um, like the kind of harbour, I guess. And then up there somewhere, somewhere around, you can get like to a viewpoint which you look down on. I'm not sure we're going. I'm not sure. <laughs> ah. Okay, so um, I think first up, Asha wants to eat some mango sticky rice. I already got brought, some. Brought some with her. I don't have any food uh, apart from some peanuts. But yeah, so I might go up there, get some food somewhere, and then we'll head back down to the beach. I reckon, and do a little bit of exploring, I guess, to find some food. Not too much though. We're not like in a big like hustle hustle day today. Just want to chill. Even just getting on a boat was nice. That was an adventure, enough. Yeah, it was, really, it was really nice. I didn't feel like it was too loud. It was like, okay. And then the view is amazing, boats, kayaks, amazing. Yeah, for sure. Okay, Rayleigh. this is Rayleigh, Rayleigh Beach. Let's go. little Rayleigh kind of town-ish thing and here you can kind of see the bars, 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 like little restaurants, like chill out areas and you can just like, you just lie around and then like a few bars with tables and chairs and things but there is a few where you can just like like lie down on the floor and chill out. There's a few with some um, um, should we say um, dubious or unusual substances that you can partake in if that's your thing um, and then obviously you can then just lie on the floor and enjoy them to your heart's content <laughs> um, yeah yeah so sort of like like you, you know some loungy areas with like little sofa things um, 
yeah, I mean, it seems quite quiet. I guess everybody's, again, still, like, resting their hangovers from me from last night. Uh, but yeah, really nice vibe, you know. And also quite peaceful, because, you know, like in... Um, Gilly Tea, there is no... Um, no cars, no motors, no motors. So yeah, you just can hear yourself breathing. It's quite nice. But yeah, see the an example of like you, know, you just chill, just like the table here, you just two of you. Um, and all the way around here, there's quite a lot of places. Yeah, just very chill vibe. A really nice escape from whatever you're trying to escape from. <laughs> cool. Well, yeah, I'm gonna get a sandwich down here, and then we're gonna head back down to the beach. Just thought we'd do a little explore. Uh, just to kind of get a uh, some sort of bearing on what it's all about. I imagine at night it's pretty magical as well. We are probably staying to at least sunset um, when all the lights kind of come back on. Uh, yeah, it'll make for like a really nice atmosphere. Just stopped here uh, to pick up my baguette. I'm getting a grilled chicken baguette for 100 baht. They look pretty good. There's a uh, little seating, uh, like dining seating area upstairs. And then yeah, it's the kitchen down here. Um, yeah, looks good, what I saw. So yeah, when it comes, uh, we'll take it down to the beach. But yes, I, I, like, I like the vibe too. I like it, I like it. Why do you like it? It's just chill. But I think later it will get busier. Oh yeah. Like a bit chill. Nice. Okay, so we're waiting for that and then we, yeah, we'll head down to the beach. So we've got sandwich, we've got Lucy. mango sticky rice. Actually, this is like a really good breakfast. <laughs> Having yes. a mango sticky rice in Rayleigh on the beach and just relaxing. Really nice new situation today. Yes, sun is out. <sighs> yes. Okay, so I'm gonna unwrap all this. I'll get back to you. This is what we're dealing with. Oh, oh, oh. Wow, looks pretty good. Um, I don't think I can do it while holding the camera, I'm afraid. So I'm just going to eat it. But check it out. Just wanted to show you it. Like full, like, have a chicken breast. And like some tomato, uh, cucumber, onion, lettuce. I already ate some of the lettuce out of it. Really good. Um, well, it looks really good. I'm sure it tastes really good as well. But I'm going to put the camera away because I'm going to enjoy this. I'm going to enjoy that. I'm going to enjoy this. Yes. Very good sticky rice. Wow. Very good, everybody. Well done. Yummy food. Uh, the baguette was great. Nice pieces of chicken. 100 baht. Um, you know, prices here, you know, they're, 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 they're higher, I guess, than Al Nang. And we were just kind of discussing as well. There, you know, we've in, in Bangkok, you know, we've been staying quite often in more local places. So our price, uh, our reality of prices is different than I guess the like tourist prices. But this is the reality that we're in, and this is kind of the place we're at. And you know, it's not a bad one to be at. So yeah, I'm happy to be here. Uh, we're gonna go for a swim. How was your mango sticky rice, Asha? It was delicious. Mango sticky rice was um, probably one of the best. Um, rice was like really sweet and like soft, which I like, not like just very, you know, st stuck together. <laughs> and then mango is like really amazing fruit here, you know, comparing to European mangoes. This is like fully ripe and um, basically sweet and, and mushy a bit, like a vegetable. And it, it just uh, tastes tastes great plus that coconut sauce that they give as well mmm really good <laughs> um cool well, we're gonna go mango mm. mango man let's go to the river the, the water speaking of mango 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 Man well, mango well, mango well, mango go go what happened we went for a swim came back lay down fell asleep we <laughs> we've kind of been baking in the sun a little bit uh, it's about two o'clock, so it's kind of like super hot, high noon sun at the moment. So we thought we'd get off the beach, 
Uh, I just want to go to like there's a cave around here. I'm not 100% sure we can go to the cave. Uh, but we'll try. We'll try. We'll see what we can do. See what we can do. But yeah, we're just trying to like do something to get out of the sun for a little bit. Falling asleep and like baking. Definitely turning a different colour. And I think I'm a bit dehydrated as well. So yeah. Yeah, I think so. Probably a bit of shade. Um, would be good. So there's a cave just here, kind of behind this house. So we're hoping we can get around behind the house. Um, and then probably have lunch and then maybe go for more swimming, more sleeping, more everything of nothing of everything. Okay. is a path that way kind of around the back of the house and then into the cave back there maybe we'll see <laughs> not so much a cave as uh like an overhang here you see but there's loads of mosquitoes and they're already found me so i'm gonna head off <laughs> uh, yeah, Ash is already over there. Yeah, it's not quite a big, I thought it was going to be like quite a deep cave, but it is quite impressive. Uh, these kind of stalactites, stalagmites, I can't remember which one's which. Who knows? Let me know down below. <laughs> cool. Well, we're going to head back to the beach ish and then go get some food ish lunchtime things. And then maybe there is another cave that's actually a big cave somewhere. But yeah, there's things biting me. Okay, gotta go. Bye. <laughs> Okay guys, slight change of plans, we're back at the beach. Uh, I've got a coffee. 100, 110 baht people for uh, this. <laughs> it's right, I mean it's good, it's real coffee. That's good. I should got this. With some nuts. <laughs> a beef. What? Penang? Yeah. Uh, for 80 baht? Yeah. 80 baht. Cool. Okay. Uh, there's just a, quite a few people around me, so I don't want to film too much, to be honest. Okay, so we're going to look at the... I'm going to drink that. I might have some food later. Yada, yada, yada. Hey guys. So, uh, going for a swim, but taking you with me. Uh, swatch, switched, swatched over the Go, go to the GoPro. A bit of water action. What do you reckon? What do you reckon? What do you reckon? Yeah, I'll try and get some angles back on the beach from out here. Oh, the water's actually clear up. Actually a lot clearer. Maybe it's just clearer over this side. I'm not sure. Let's see some people snorkeling over there. Um, maybe they're stuck. Ooh. Okay, gonna have to dive in. Okay guys, back on the big camera. Um, I'm back on the beach. Oops. Oops. And Ash has gone in the water there somewhere. Um, I don't think we're doing much more. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna relax on the beach, dry off, get a bit more sun for it. It gets behind. Uh, and then I think we're heading back probably in about an hour so yeah we were going to do some exploring and things but as the sun is kind of coming down already uh, we're just going to take it easy then head back on the boat yeah so we're going to probably in about an hour get on another boat go back to Aonang and then probably like do uh, a night market or something cool but for now just chilling chilling out enjoying this enjoying
Okay guys, we've got our ticket from these guys over here. You have to come to this hut and then you wait in the queue. And then you wait for a boat. Uh, like I said, like they take eight at a time, so you have to kind of wait for other people, which I think we've got. Looks like we've got eight. Uh, looks like our guys just here. Um, yes, so we're gonna get on a boat soon. There's plenty of boats there. And we got in <laughs> just before the 6 p.m. Uh, price lift. It only goes up to 150 baht, but still, you know, there is a slight lift in price once it gets after six o'clock. But yeah, cool, we're gonna get on there. Okay, so it'll just be like loads of stuff, maybe a sunset and stuff. Okay, okay, okay. Bye. So that was, what was it? Rayleigh! And we're back! Rayleigh! Rayleigh! Rayleigh, Rayleigh, Rayleigh! So now we're back on Aonang. Yes. Uh, it looks like they're just setting up for a fire performance here. There's usually a fire performance here, just where these steps are. It's also like a great place to watch the sunset. It uh, doesn't look like we're going to get the best sunset at the moment though. Um, they also set up speakers, noise and stuff. But I think we're going to the night market. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to the night market. We might watch the sunset a little bit. Not sure if we're gonna get a good one, so we'll see. Um, but then, yeah, head to the night market. So it's very cloudy today. Yeah, so I might actually just end this video here. That was Rayleigh. Yeah. This is Culture Drift. Thanks for watching. Why don't you subscribe? We'll see you on the next one. And until then, keep, keep on, on drifting. drifting.